I think because, yeah, this, because they responded so quickly because people died so quickly. So Monster was like, let's fuck with their stocks more and not have anyone die so they yeah. don't. Yeah. <laughs> So they don't take it too seriously and take everything away too quickly. Right. Oh my yeah. gosh. But as part of its response, Johnson & Johnson developed a new tamper-evident packaging system for Tylenol that made it much more difficult for someone to tamper with or contaminate a bottle of pills. The new packaging featured a two-piece capsule that could not be opened easily as well as a plastic seal over the mouth of the bottle that had to be broken to gain access to the capsule. So none of that existed at all before this, which is wild to me because, you know, do you remember on, maybe you weren't on TikTok yet, but there was like a trend of like kids taking ice cream and licking like, taking the lid off, licking it, putting oh. the lid back on, and putting it in the freezer. Yeah. Like, think of all the stuff people could have been doing to products in stores before this. Right. That's crazy to think about, but, yeah, because every single, like, medicine has that now, I feel like. Yeah, it has and, to, like, so. so many other things. Like, just the seal. All of your food is sealed. Yeah. Now, and it wasn't before. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, that really grosses me out that it wasn't. Like, I I don't know. Yeah, probably. I fall for the psychology. <laughs> I mean, probably little kids were spitting and stuff or whatever. I don't know, right? Sticking their tongue in the ketchup bottle. Yeah, like, <laughs> like kids have always been gross, so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that does freak me out to think about. Yeah, or like hair products even. Someone could be putting like oh. nair in your shampoo right in the store. Yeah. Or like I lipsticks. Say that, I hate not that. all shampoo is sealed still. Uh yeah, that's true. Cause sometimes I open it to sniff see. Just yeah, exactly. <laughs> push a little bit, see what it smells like. I, yeah, when it is sealed I'm annoyed because I'm like, I can't smell this. How does it smell? But it does keep you safe. Yeah. Right. Johnson and Johnson also took out full page ads in major newspapers across the country warning consumers not to use Tylenol and offering exchange offering to exchange any Tylenol ca capsules they had for a new safer product. The company also set up a toll free hotline for concerned consumers to call and provide an update on the investigation as new information became available. Wow. I think they really did like everything they could yeah like that's they that's a good company company will never <laughs> respond so well ever again no, they will not and despite the damage that had been done to the tylenol brand into the company's bottom line johnson and johnson's response was widely praised for its transparency empathy and commitment to consumer safety the stock price, the company's stock price eventually recovered and Tylenol remains one of the most trusted over the county, over the counter medications on the market today, which is like true. I know it yeah. dipped, but I don't think it like full crashed. Right. Well, it definitely is obviously fine now. Yeah, I think of Tylenol first than any other thing. Right. Me too, but I don't buy it. <laughs> I buy generic ibuprofen, oh, but... I don't use Tylenol at all, so... I try not to. Yeah. I... Mark's family calls it vitamin I. Oh. Ibuprofen. Oh. Because they take it so much. That's... Oh, uh, I don't know about that. It's not a good idea. <laughs> not that I don't let him take it, but he doesn't take it. Yeah, I don't think... I think I've taken Tylenol once for just a general ache. I guess as I get older, maybe I'll take it more. But, like, I literally never think to even take it. I just deal with that it hurts. Like, I'm like, whatever. I'm like, oh, I have a headache. Yeah, it'll go away. And then just sit there. <laughs> Although I don't have migraines or anything, so. Right. Or, like, I think I took it after my wisdom teeth, and then I was having jaw issues oh. after that. So I took it a few times for that. Yeah. But it's not my thing. Yeah, I'm really not interested. But good for them that they <laughs> responded that way. Yeah. 
And they also reopened the case in 2011, but there was no new evidence uncovered. Hmm. Um, The Tylenol murders produced, or the investigation into the murders produced a number of suspects and theories, but no one was ever charged or convicted of the crimes. One of the primary suspects was James Lewis, who sent the letter, um, but there was not enough evidence to definitively link him to the crime, so he just got convicted of extortion for the letter, but not for the murder. So he actually might have done it. Yeah. I guess, but they couldn't prove it. Or he just was like, let me take the opportunity to say I did it and... Like, right. give me but money? It said that he knew stuff that wasn't oh, yeah. published anywhere. So I guess it probably was him. But... Right. If his letter said, I did the poisonings or whatever. Right. How did they not get Yeah, hit? how is that not enough evidence? Yeah, just show he them admitted. one letter. Right, yeah. But they needed more? Than that? Yeah. They didn't even, like, find him first. He found them. And was like, I've been well, doing Well, he got it. 20 years, so it must have been... Yeah. It must have been... They probably couldn't get him on it, so they made that a serious sentence or something. Yeah. He probably did it. But... Or stupid. involved in some way. He's out of jail now, I think. Oh, yeah. Can I have to look it up. I guess he would be alive still. It wasn't that long ago. He was only in prison for 13 years. Oh, he looks like... Oh. He looks like a poisoner? (laughs) He looks like Ted Kaczynski. Oh. Yeah, he seems like the biggest. Oh, I think he did it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, he's got the murder glasses. Doesn't he look like the Unabomber a little bit? I'm not sure who the Unabomber looks like you. Are they related? <laughs> I don't know. Ted Kaczynski is the Unabomber. Mm, I don't think they look that similar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd say no. Oh. Apparently. Okay. Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, offered his DNA samples to help the FBI in their investigation of the Tylenol murders if the government did not go forward with an online auction of his personal stuff. Oh. This was in 2011. They think he's related to them? (laughs) No. He wanted... I think he was trying to say... He was trying to stop them from selling his stuff. So he... Probably pretended to know something about it. And they did actually want his DNA for a while. Other theories have suggested that the poisonings were the work of a lone individual, a disgruntled employee or former employee of Johnson & Johnson, or even a foreign terrorist group. But none of these theories have been proven and the identity of the person or group responsible remains a mystery. I think it's related. It's got to be related, right, to the monster? Yeah, somehow. Or at least inspired it, probably. Right. And, yeah. Like, there's no way that they weren't somehow connected. Even if it was just like, hey, look what they did. Cause right, yeah. The monster 21 faces is literally the same like t- they use cyanide in both right yeah maybe someone's providing cyanide to these people you i just want to know how you get cyanide i don't know the black market <laughs> where are these people getting cyanide i don't know it, i mean some people do work with right i guess you work with i think cyanide? it's used in mining oh If I remember correctly, it's part of, like, gold mining, part of the Um, purification process. If you just, like, boil enough apples, right? The seeds or something. The seeds. (laughs) Do you I don't know how that works. I don't know. I heard you'd have to eat, like, a thousand apples in a day to be poisoned with cyanide from the seeds. Well, peach pits or cherry pits, like, certain pits. Yeah, you just, like probably cook them or something and then it leeches into the the... oh 
Or you just soak it? I don't know. I feel like there must be some kind of, like, chemical reaction that yeah. pulls it out. I don't know. Next episode, we'll be studying how to make cyanide. <laughs> we'll definitely get on a list then. <laughs> yeah. We do not need to do that. <laughs> we just Google it regularly. How do you, how does cyanide <laughs> It's for a podcast. It's not for us. Yeah, we're just... I just wanted to try it out. See how hard it was. I don't want to try to make it, but I would like to know how it is made. How it's made. They should do that on that show. Yeah. Cyanide. <laughs> Teach us all how to make cyanide. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Tylenol murders also prompted new laws and regulations to help protect protect consumers from contaminated products the federal government has passed the tylenol bill in 1983 which made it a federal crime to tamper with consumer products nice. in recent years many states also passed laws mandating temp tamper evident packaging for over-the-counter medications that seems super fast too to make a bill yeah <laughs> we can't do anything now <laughs> Within, yeah, a for year. real, yeah. they got it out within not even. I wish I knew what month. Well, within Hold a on. year, 12 17, 1982. Oh, that can't be right. Well, okay, Congress passed it. Oh, so that doesn't necessarily mean the House passed it, but that's really oh, May 10th, 1983. Hmm. It was a 292 to zero vote. Wow. That would also never happen today. I know. Even for like and something they kept it done in less than six like or in like six months. Yeah. Wow. We gotta get government back to that. But not by killing people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All our listeners, don't go killing anyone to to get our government to, they wouldn't well, we they, already know that doesn't work it wouldn't work like it definitely <laughs> wouldn't work because they try to throw in some fucking tax credit or something they'd be like anti-tampering and also zero percent tax for people making over a billion dollars or something and be like of course we can't sign this right they would absolutely put add something in there of like, and then they'd be like, they don't want us to pass the Tylenol bill. Right. You see this? They don't want us to help the public, even though it says no tax for life or who like. They want you to get poisoned. Yeah. And they're doing it on purpose. Or it says close all public schooling and we'll save you from Tylenol. <laughs> yeah. like, they won't sign it. <laughs> yeah, it would never work today. <laughs> No, unfortunately not. Well, fortunately, I guess, because it stops people from killing people for laws, but also it would be cool if we could get anything passed. Right. I mean, I think people, I don't think they were killing people for new laws to come out back then. No. No, I think it was stock price fixing. They failed? Well, it dipped momentarily yeah but they responded so quickly that i feel like it did not go according to plan unless you knew in advance yeah yeah it would just take a couple days i guess to buy low right hmm but that could be yeah so then they had to move to japan and make it worse yeah because that was um a year or almost a yeah. year, I guess, that it was working. And multiple companies. Right. Yeah, why didn't they hit up, who else? Ibuprofen, I guess. Or... Bayer, Oh, probably. Bayer, yeah. Aspirin would have been a good one. Yeah. Don't get any ideas, anyone. Because it... Monsanto would figure it out so fucking fast and you'd be done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if someone <laughs> tried to tamper with their products. I'm just surprised... That Johnson and Johnson didn't like patent this packaging too. Like everyone has I wonder it. If, 
Or the law, maybe. Well, but are they all the exact same, like, mechanism? Because there's the ones that you have to push down on to right. open, right? Yeah.